Hello Overclockers and welcome to this week's episode of News Weekly. This is where we bring you the latest gaming and tech news. Today I'm going to be introducing our new presenter Andy and we're going to be going over Nvidia's new launch, back to school promotions and some exciting game news. If you want to skip to a particular story, check the description for timestamps. Roll the intro! Kicking off the news this week is the biggest story and that is the Nvidia launch. On the 1st of September we were once again treated to Jensen in his kitchen as he announced the brand new 30 series graphics cards. The graphics card announcement came amongst other news about ray tracing in games such as Fortnite and the new Call of Duty and we also saw another trailer for Cyberpunk 2077 with lots of lovely ray tracing effects. Alongside the graphics card launch, Nvidia also announced several new software technologies. The first one is Nvidia Reflex, which is made to reduce system latency in competitive games. There was also Nvidia Omniverse Machina, which helps video game storytellers, and Nvidia Broadcast, which harnesses AI to turn any room into a home broadcast studio. The 30 series graphics card models that were announced were the RTX 3070, 3080 and 3090. They're powered by Ampere which is Nvidia's second gen RTX architecture and they come with new RT cores, tensor cores and multi-streaming processors. Nvidia has designed the new cooler to pull cold air in from the front of the case and exhaust hot air out the back and the top. This definitely makes sense over previous designs and Nvidia claims it can keep the graphics card up to 20 degrees cooler over previous founder cards. The RTX 3070 is going to start at £469 and is said to be faster than the RTX 2080 Ti at less than half the price. It's also meant to be 60% faster than the RTX 2070. It comes with 8GB of GDDR6 memory and 588 CUDA cores and will be the sweet spot between price and performance for gamers wanting to play at high resolutions. The RTX 3080 starts at £649 and Nvidia showed it off as the ultimate gaming GPU. Performance is said to be up to two times faster than the RTX 2080 and it comes with 10GB of new high speed GDDR6X memory running at 16GB per second. The 8704 CUDA cores make it perfect for 4K gamers that want to play at 60fps. The RTX 3090 sits at the top of the stack and it's priced at $1,399.99 and it's a huge 3 slot card with 24GB of GDDR6X memory. This allows it to tackle the toughest AI algorithms and power massive content creation workloads. When it comes to performance, the RTX 3090 is said to be up to 50% faster than the current Ultimate PC graphics card, the Titan RTX. The 10,496 CUDA cores enable gamers to experience 60 FPS and 8K resolution for the first time across many top games. I don't think it's going to have any problems parrying games like Crisis Remastered and Microsoft Flight Simulator. As with all things Nvidia, we do have to take those performance claims with a pinch of salt right now and wait for the full reviews, however things are looking really good. The RTX 3080 and 3090 will be available to buy from September the 17th and the RTX 3070 will be coming sometime in October. On the Overclockers website you can browse cards from MSI, Gigabyte, Zotac, Palet and Asus and they're listed alongside photos and pricing information. Those of you that have been to events where Overclockers have been present, or if you've watched the Overclockers YouTube channel in the past, you will recognise Andy. He's here to take over from the news for a little bit, and he's also going to be roasting all those 2080 Ti owners out there as well. So, big F in the chat if you've recently bought a 2080 Ti, because it looks as though Ampere's going to give that a good spanking. So, free games, what have we got? From Ubisoft until the 8th of September, you can claim and keep the division for absolutely free. You'll need a Uplay account to play it, but hey, it's free, that's a small sacrifice. It came out in 2016 and has been superseded by the division 2, but don't let that put you off, there's still plenty of fun to be had in this open world online RPG. And from Epic Games you can pick up Into the Breach, which is totally free to play until September 10th. This is a turn-based strategy game set in the near future, where humans take to mecha suits to fight against monster-like aliens called Vex. You'll have to analyse your enemies' moves in order to counter them and save humanity, and the best thing is this game plays on pretty much any PC, so happy days! 
on to the next topic of conversation, PC gamers rejoice! We're finally gonna get our hands on some more console exclusives. Death Stranding came out a small while ago and received massive online praise, especially amongst the Steam community. And although Horizon Zero Dawn released with a few bugs and a few problems, Sony has admitted that they plan to bring more first-party titles to the PC gaming market. Exclusive console titles have always been real unique selling points for these, so what does that mean for the future? We'll have to wait and see. But maybe one day PC gamers can enjoy some God of War, The Last of Us, or even Spider-Man. Thanks Andy, I'll take it from here. Our next story is from Nitro Concepts, who are a company that are known for producing affordable gaming chairs. Their products start from just $149.99 and they've just released a new flagship model, the Nitro Concepts X1000. It has an attractive sporty design and is available in four different colours. The chair comes with matching cushions embroidered with the Nitro Concepts logo and the spacious seating area with adjustable backrest, breathable fabric, adjustable armrests and cold foam upholstery ensure maximum comfort. The price for this chair is just $239.99 and you can get it right now on the Overclockers website. Our final story is about two new promotions from MSI and NVIDIA. The MSI back to school promotion is running until October the 31st and you can get up to £90 cash back on motherboard bundles, monitors, PC cases and liquid coolers. Here are some of my top picks. The Meg X570 Godlike motherboard and Ryzen 9 processor gets you £90 cash back. A range of stylish MSI MPG Sakura cases are eligible for £27 cash back. There's four different models of the MSI MagCore Liquid All-in-One CPU coolers that get £18 cash back, and select MSI Optics gaming monitors are eligible for £27 cash back. If you decide to get your hands on an MSI product, don't forget to take part in the MSI Shoutout program, which rewards you with £19 for your Steam wallet just for leaving a review. Nvidia is running its own back to school promotion and you can save up to £200 on Nvidia powered laptops from a range of different manufacturers. You can get great savings on laptops from MSI, Gigabyte, HP and Lenovo and they start at just £849.95. They're great for gaming and working and the promotion is going to be running until roughly the end of the month. If you're looking to get your hands on a laptop right now, there are a range of flexible finance options available. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Overclockers News Weekly. Let us know in the comments if you'll be picking up a brand new 30 series graphics card. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also press the bell icon as well so you don't miss next week's episode. See you soon.